Now we look at luteinizing hormone, our fourth and final hormone. Luteinizing hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland, and this is what I want you to remember. It pulses when estrogen peaks. So when estrogen peaks, that means that the body has made a dominant follicle. There's a nice mountain peak if we were looking at a test. And so when the dominant follicle is produced, the pituitary gland sees, because it's the same pituitary gland that secreted FSH. So it, it looks down at its handiwork and says, wow, you really responded to my FSH well. Now I'm going to send down luteinizing hormone so that you ovulate that big, beautiful, big, beautiful egg. So the receptor sites in the ovaries are set and they receive the luteinizing hormone and those ovaries respond to LH by ovulating the egg. So if you just imagine, just like a chicken egg, the eggshell opening up, letting out the yolk, and then that eggshell crumbling down inside the ovary, and that is what becomes your corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum is what starts secreting progesterone right after ovulation takes place. So the corpus luteum secretes progesterone, and we know that progesterone is in the spiral of luteinizing hormone. So when the progesterone starts being secreted, the pituitary gland picks up on that progesterone level, and it stops sending out the LH signal. LH is inhibited by increased progesterone.